after a deadly epidemic of apocalyptic proportions. The last few survivors leave a ruined Earth in search of a new home. Humanity's last hope for survival is Mars. A cold and inhospitable world still raging against the effects of terraforming. During the planet's most unforgiving storm, called the Red Solstice, Elysium Corporation CEO John Erebus sends a distress call from Tharsis Colony. Then the colony goes dark. Three forms of unprovoked and violent insurgent attacks throughout the colony and demands his immediate extraction. Teams Nightfighter and Blacklight are sent from Arcadia Colony to investigate. Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my long plays. This one's called The Red Solstice. So let's get to it. But before we go on, let's just let me just quickly adjust my settings, my special effects and stuff. Um, I think that should be right now. Um the voice chats actually. I thought it was the the, the soldiers is um, voice, voices, but it's actually not, it's, oh, it's a little too loud, it's actually, um, <clears throat> players' voices, like when you play multiplayer, yeah, so, so, which is really annoying, because when you lower the, the special effects, um, volume, it also lowers the voices, the in-game voices, alright, so what we have to do, hopefully, um, all my settings are right, um, with my recording and everything. Anyway, so what we have to do in this first part of this mission is to try and rendezvous with these guys because they stupidly landed <laughs> on the other side of this crater. And for some reason, neither them nor I can climb over this rubble. Yeah, so we have to find the way there, find a way there. <clears throat> Hopefully they can meet meet us halfway and not make us walk the whole entire way. <clears throat> Let me just get a quick drink as we stroll through this um, little maze here. This maze of a colony. See, so yeah, I've changed some of the hotkeys <clears throat> because some of them didn't really make sense. Alright, so we have the attack cancer. Alright. <laughs> yeah, so if you hadn't noticed yet, <laughs> my aiming was really bad because I'm at like the lowest level. Um, yeah, because I clicked here and he fired like here somewhere. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so we're Tyler Hunt. Let's see if we can see our face. Get a little close up. Alright, so we're. We look like we're uh, African American or just a really dark white guy. I don't know. <laughs> just a generic soldier, really, if you ask me. All right, and um, and in this mission we have to find a dude named John Erebus. I think his surname is Erebus. And yeah, because yeah, we were called here. Yeah. So this dude sent a. Uh, a distress signal, so we're here to check it out. And it, yeah, so he was my soldier here. This dude was just uh, noticing this ginormous thing. We're on Mars, by the way. 
And yeah, so this is probably, this is a Martian. I guess you can call it that, for lack of a better description. And he probably was infected by the Stroll virus, which was on Earth. But I'm not really going to, I'm not going to get into that. You can watch the intro or Google it. Um, yeah, because I, I, I'd, I'd mess up the, the whole, uh, what do you call it, lore, the whole story. And you'll just get totally confused. All that crackling isn't my microphone, by the way, which, um, by the way, I'm using my phone, <laughs> my Samsung S9. Uh, my microphones are all messed up. They're all, I don't know. They're all faulty. Oh, a little cutscene. Or cinematic. Erebus, that's the name. <clears throat> I think, yeah, there you go. John Erebus. Locate John Erebus. Turn the power back on. On to open the gates. Press the right mouse button. Interact with objects. Use the power scene. Okay, yep. All right, so we have to turn lights on with the... We can turn lights on with the power station. Yeah, what was I saying? The crackling that you can probably hear in the background isn't my microphone. It's the the fire, the flames, and that chirping noise that sounds like a cricket <laughs> in the background is actually a cricket. It's a cricket just somewhere outside my window. So <laughs> I do apologize for that. I tried to um scare it away, but it's still there, or it's still there. I'm not sure if it's a he or a she. Anyway. <laughs> Was this a car? It's like a really ancient, well not, not ancient, that actually looks pretty futuristic. Well, the tires don't look futuristic. It's like a, a drag racing car. Anyway, I'm getting, um, going off on a tangent, getting a little distracted from the, the mission at hand. Supply crates. Yeah, so most of these supply crates don't really supply you with anything. Like, like these ones had n absolutely nothing in them. So I'm not sure why <laughs> they're even here. Just for decoration, I guess. Alright. And so I'm not sure if this um, has anything to do with StarCraft 2 or StarCraft 2 mods because it highly resembles StarCraft 2 not just the mods but like the first couple of missions where you're only controlling um, a couple of characters only main difference is the controller the left and right mouse buttons are totally opposite left is um, fire instead of move um, hey dead guy hello mister dead guy sir or ma'am Alright, so they, ooh, a lot of blood here. They must have been attacked by that big guy um, who died over here, right here, who died from probably, from massive burns by the looks of it. Not sure, maybe the Stroll virus burns them, I don't know. Anyway, alright, so these guys, I can't control them. I, oh, well, I can if I, like, later on. Because at the moment, my controls are all, um, limited because it's a tutorial level. Um, later on I can control him if I do this tactical mode or whatever it is. <clears throat> Shoot the gas. Shoot at the gas cylinder. There's using the light. Yep, okay. Um, have I already been doing that? I have the worst aim. Worse than the Star Wars stormtroopers. <laughs> it's like shooting here, shooting there, even though I clicked right in the middle. Let's move to some empty crates. <laughs> Maybe if I shoot the crates, I'll have more chances of, or there will be more chances of, oh, there you go, of them actually having something in them. Oh, what's up here? Yeah, so the first time I played this was yesterday with my brother and some stranger, some random dude who turned out to be a pro. <laughs> we played multiplayer. That was the first time I played this game in multiplayer, uh, a mode that you're not supposed to play um, before playing single player. <laughs> yeah, so needless to say, we got our asses kicked within minutes. Meanwhile, Mr. Pro, multi, uh, the, the pro random dude that jumped into our game, totally kicked the ass and completed the game by himself. <laughs> the, the mission. Uh, yeah, I changed, 
Q used to be auto aim, I think, like, or E rather. I changed it to A for auto aim. It makes more sense. Yeah, so you can either, yeah, have auto aim right here, enabled, and you will just automatically fire. But the bad thing with that, let me just turn down the volume. The bad thing with auto aim is um, sometimes you want to conserve your bullets, your ammo, but auto aim will just keep wasting it. So yeah, you have to turn off auto aim and just and um, manually fire. If I turn it off now, it's you have to just you have to keep clicking like that, or yeah, you have to manually aim. It's it's really really hard, <laughs> for, especially for a noob like myself. Oh, an ammo box. I didn't see you there. I did a quick run earlier today, so um, I'm not a total noob. I mean, I still am, but not totally. I was hoping I could get something from this guy. <laughs> yes, I know I'm evil. Instead of um, worrying about what happened, why he or she died, I'm more wor worried about um, whether I can whether I can get something out of him, out of his pockets. More ammo. Oh, that's right. We have flare. All right, so we can go fast by pressing F. So that's the normal speed. And if I press F, that's fast speed. Once again, I set that to, that's my own hotkey. Uh, normally, fast speed is a different um, key, a different hotkey on the keyboard, which I forgot what it was. And R, I've set to flare. So if it's dark somewhere, like, I don't know, I guess here. We can just, oh, that's actually pretty bright now. Anyway, I'll show you guys later. And I think my phone just turned off hopefully still still recording all right more empty supply crates yep as suspected in our mission oh okay locate John Erebus and the sub what? Mm. or above <laughs> all this bloods <clears throat> it's, it's on above the ground not beneath uh, excuse me just getting a Quick drink. <clears throat> Alright, so turn on the power station. Wherever that may be. That is our submission, I guess. Locate John Erebus is the primary mission. Oh, I missed this one. Uh, it's probably got nothing anyway. Oh, stop shooting. Stop wasting bullets. God damn it. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, there you go. The power station. Okay, turn on the power station. And that does something, I don't know. Exit the building. <clears throat> exit, so, like, should I just go back out here? Because that exits, exits the building. Stroll Nest. I think Stroll, S-T-R-O-L, is an acronym for something. But yeah, basically it's a virus. It's the name of a virus that totally annihilate, annihilated, or almost totally annihilated, <clears throat> excuse me, all humans on Earth. And the survivors fled here to Mars. So we're on Mars. And there are several colonies here on Mars. And this one's all messed up. So we have to go ahead. We have to investigate it. Okay, before this transfer section. Mm. Okay. So we'll find the teleportation device. <clears throat> Let's just throw some flares just for fun. There you go. <laughs> And some here, because they regenerate at every 30 seconds or whatever, 30 something seconds, 30, oh, there you go, 30 seconds. <clears throat> Takes a while, but I don't really need them that much. Specialized ammo. <clears throat> can you the <laughs> we can do that, but I think we can just shoot normally, I think. Think. Don't quote me on that or not. Okay. <laughs> Switch weapons. All right. There you go. Now let's go back to this one. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> I knew it. He just wanted me to waste my grenade launcher. All right. So we have a little HUD here now. Oh, that we've had for a while now, actually. Restore the backup generator. Okay. Up the north. Oh, that's right. We have a map. If I press escape. All right. So. Okay, 
it's a pretty damn large map considering it's the first mission, first level, and it's only a tutorial. But I'm guessing there there won't be that many enemies anyway. Oh wait, just hold that thought. Where am I going? Oh, okay, to the east. All right. Gas cylinder. Let me just. Man, I have the worst aim. <laughs> Can I use the other guys? Because this... Tyler sucks. <laughs> What's here? Throw some flares. <clears throat> I wonder if there's oh, friendly fire. No, there isn't. Okay, lucky. <laughs> because my aim sucks. I could be aiming right and be firing left. <laughs> See how bad Tyler is? I blame Tyler, not me. I'm just the guy clicking the mouse. Uh, oh, there you go. Teleportation device. But before we go ahead and check that out, let's open some more empty supply crates with no supplies whatsoever more gas cylinders left control for info on exploding deals for our damage in a nice area i think in multiplayer or maybe later missions because this is the first mission and as i said earlier everything's limited i think we can later on pick up the gas cylinders and throw them so for now i guess i'm just gonna shoot them um, we can probably use them later on for like when like we get swarmed by Martians, by aliens. Oh, let's see. Okay. All right. Time to teleport. It should power up nearby buildings. Okay. <clears throat> oh, supply crate. Another empty supply crate. And yeah, cylinders. I'm just gonna keep. Oh, actually, no. I'll. I think I'll. I'm not gonna shoot the gas cylinders um, because my plan was to shoot everything in sight, just so that I know I've been to a certain room because it's very maze-like. Yeah, I've accumulated energy points. Yeah, using level up skills because they're an integral part of the game. You should as you can. Okay, right. All right. So whenever we get ener energy, little whatever that was, energy batteries, um, we can use them to level up. So let's have a look what we got. So we have combat defense module. Oh, that's just the melee attacking thing. The, the uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, a knife, basically, for lack of a better term. What's it called? A blade, there you go. Oh my god. Ugh. I need sleep. Um, Alright, so this one is, a, is is for morphine. That it's like the medi kit that you can get from the like from the ground from the maps. Um, okay, advanced stimulants increases attack and movement speed. All right, but you lose a bit of health. That sucks. Um, heals wounds and cures poisons. Cures the enemy. but you lose health as well. All right, so. Hmm, which one should I upgrade? It allows me to hit next level critical shot. Allows me to hit. Okay, so that's just makes them better at aiming at. Uh, I don't know. Makes them better at headshots, I guess. Light weapon target in the rhythm and reload and attack speed increase their damage output with light weapons. Cruise Marines reload in attack speed. I was hoping that. The, this target, targeting system um, upgrades there. <laughs> They're really bad. Oh, this dude's really bad um, aiming skills. I think the one I want is this one, so you can aim better. Allows Marines or Marine to hit vital areas. I think I'll upgrade this one. Energy batteries, zip increase, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's upgrade this to the max. Oh, cool. We, I thought um, we'd only have enough for this for one thing. What else do I need? I need some healing stuff. And that is it for now. Yes, un until we find some more energy uh, batteries. Alright, so far so average. Um, and there's another energy battery. Hopefully we can upgrade more things. Or not. I guess you have to accumulate several not just one energy battery in order to upgrade stuff 
I'll call it another power station. I guess we can turn that on and let there be light. All right, you use a teleporter to return to the previous building. Okay, let's do that. Anything else here? Yeah, I've turned on all the... <laughs> uh, I kind of cheated. No, well, not really. It's an option in the game. Um, you can, in options here, you can turn on the names, or the interface. I've turned on the names, <laughs> monster names, uh, item names, and icons, and everything, so that, because sometimes, especially because since the game is general, generally dark, yeah, it's hard to know what's what, what you can pick up and interact with, so yeah, I decided to turn that on. <clears throat> which makes it a whole lot easier for noobs like myself. So thank you for that, developers. It actually helps a lot. Oh, more fuel. Can I pick these up? I went, oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, so these ones you can pick up. I wonder if there's friendly fire here. Let's throw it at these guys. Oh, there is. <laughs> My guinea pigs. Tyler Hunt. <laughs> I think we should name, name him Tyler. Instead of Hunt, change the H to a C. Oh, that's the wrong way. Let's go back and go left. A lot of things burning. I wonder if that's a stroll virus is doing all this flame, all these flames, all this burning. Oh, auto fire. Or did um something or the 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 colonists that were here detonate stuff? Detonate something really large like an A bomb. To kill, to kill off all the aliens that attack them, or whatever attack them. Can we destroy the nest? Stroll nest active. Left control for info. Whoop. Stroll nest full, uh, full of underground tunnels enables readers to register around them more rapidly. Okay. So can I destroy this? Let's shift. Let's use a grenade launcher. How do I do that again? Oh, switch, that's right, switch weapons. It's not even dead, it's not even destroyed. I wasted my grenade for nothing. Oh no, I think my AI friends are gonna die because <laughs> I threw a, a can, uh, not a canister, uh, whatever that was, a large explosive barrel at them. Swarmer! Oh, it's Swarmer! Where am I? I'm confused now. Let's zoom in a bit. Alright, Tyler. They all look the same. I should... They should make the colors of our suits different. They should have made them different. So, I'm guessing these guys were human? Because they look human, but they're, they're, they're running on all fours. Okay, no, I take that back. They're not human. <laughs> They have like, I don't know, alien kind of faces or reptilian faces. Um, so what do we do here? Do we destroy the nests, which I don't know how to do? Exit the building, okay. Alright, so we have to follow this blue arrow or teal arrow. And that bloody building in the south might. Where is it? Let's press map. Oh, okay. There you go. It's easy enough. Anything else that I may have missed? Can I... I like to... I always get sidetracked. I like getting random things that you don't really need. Easter eggs and stuff. Oh, I love Easter eggs in games. Another gas cylinder. <laughs> that I... Cannot... Um, destroy with just one bullet. Because I suck at aiming. Well, my my character does anyway. Ooh, a personal log number one. Okay. I pick it up. PDA. <clears throat> oh, that's a whole lot of reading. It's that time of year again. Comms have been buzzing all morning. They can't stop. Can't. What? They can't. Stop talking about that. All right. Sorry. Blue. <laughs> I suck at reading. So bear with me. Uh, they can't stop talking about the coming storm. It's not difficult to see why they call it the Red Solstice. I can see dark red clouds clouds gathering on the horizon. It's almost it almost seems like the entire sky is about to come crashing down. Alright, they're 
Hmm, interesting. They're telling us to keep off the streets. People are complying. Mostly the streets might be missing people, but there's no shortage of unease. We're all nervous. Hmm, I'm guessing this red sky or this red solstice isn't just the red sand, red sandstorm of Mars, the red sand that comes from, that, that Mars has. I'm guessing it's got to do got something to do with a virus is my guess I'm not sure don't quote me on that and i'm worried about thomas whoever that is he should have returned yesterday he's probably infect, infected so don't hold your breath waiting for him or her wherever he is oh he okay i can only hope he is staying put until the worst of the storm passes okay i bet this is the first part of the journal the other two parts must be near energy battery more upgrades? No. Oh, no, not yet. All right. Okay. A terminal. What can we do with this? Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, have to wait for that circle thing to complete. Oh, okay. Let's turn our auto aim on just to make sure. Let's be ready. Although, not oh, great. Another. Whole bunch of reading coming coming your way. What does PDA stand for? I wonder. On the way to the institute today, I saw an Elysium Corp medical convoy escorted by Marines. They normally take the large, more open highways. I can only presume the storm has forced them into the inner streets. I caught a glimpse of a figure on a stretcher. He was covered in scabs, scars, and needle marks. Ech. He almost touched me too. <clears throat> I'm guessing this dude is not speaking metaphorically when he says touched me. The few people that are left on the streets seem horrified by what they saw. Rumors are spreading. People are wor worried about the storm, about the convoy, about what they saw. Which was that gruesome dude on the stretcher. Oh, enemies. In the multiplayer mode the first um what do you call it the first uh bunch of enemies are zombies yeah so these guys are actually a little bit harder to kill because they come at they come at you a lot faster oh a third log let's do some more reading shall we PDA. That Elysium medical convoy really took its toll on me. Words can't describe how awful it was. He was squirming scabby and clearly in his final moments I've never seen anything like it. Some say it resembles the early days of uh, Earth's viral outbreak. I think they're scaremongering but I still wouldn't want it anywhere near me. This weather isn't helping either. Had to turn back after seeing the convoy decide what uh, I wasn't feeling so well in the game was a few days off, and I finally decided to leave again. The power went out. As everything is electronically controlled on Tharsis. That's where we are, Tharsis. I was trying to remember earlier, <clears throat> but I forgot. Another wonderful decision by Tharsis admin. I found myself locked in my own apartment. Oh, we're in somebody's apartment, okay. So, so they must be lying here somewhere dead. And the backup generator was nowhere to be seen. I'm just thankful I have a couple of days worth of food left. It should be enough. Now, where is that food you speak of? I'm hungry. Where's your fridge? Let me raid your fridge. Oh, cool. We have an internal memory in our suits. Mm, okay, so we're in somebody's apartment. And is our auto-aim on? Because we're out in the open and very vulnerable oh more cutscenes <clears throat> well, not really who was this oh boss battle boss battle what the hell a train <laughs> a runaway train guess someone tried to bust their way out okay there goes that boss battle <laughs> thank you train I was really looking forward to that boss battle Anyway, so which way are we going? More gas. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what's going on? So this is all barricaded. There's a box there. We came from here, so I guess we go this way now. Hopefully, no, no more <laughs> runaway trains um, are coming anytime soon to run us over. I wanted to 
shoot that thing, that throw, fire a grenade at that, whatever that was, that giant worm thing. Yeah, cylinder. Oh, inactive. Can I destroy it? Uh, well, it's inactive anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's not waste any more bullets, even though I have a ton of them. 900, what's that, cartridges? Yeah, anyway, which way? This way. So we came from here. Let's throw some random flares. Hmm, I wonder if this, if this barrel can be useful for something. Mm -hmm. Can I even get up the stairs with it? Traverse the stairs to the north. Where am I? Am I already at the north? No, I'm not. I'm at like, you know, at the center, pretty much. Or closer to the south, anyway. Throw it here. No, that's a waste of a... Perfect, perfectly good barrel. <clears throat> the mission, or the next mission, is in five, four, three, two, one. So the ambush. It's also ground zero on oh, virus outbreak. Ooh, we're at ground zero. Things are getting serious. No sign of Erebus still. My guess is this Erebus dude is dead, and we've. We walked right past him. He was, he was one of the dead guys. Oh, uh, let's throw this. <laughs> what are these? Talk to canisters. Oh, should I shoot them? Or try to shoot them? Oh, go back. I don't have auto aim on. Now I do. Look like Looks like they had a nice li little colony here before it got infested by these dudes like they got cars and stuff and nice apartments should I be shooting these ta uh, to toxic, toxic canisters I wonder do I get anything for it I wonder and where's my health is this it uh oh Wow, that took forever to <laughs> to reload. All right, now what? So we have to go here. Follow the the teal arrow is the uh, objective of the entire mission. What's this? Oh, that's what it stands for. Personal digital assistant. Keep sharp troops. Special range on my. Yeah, so PDA stands for personal digital assistant. And what number is this? Is this four? <clears throat> 1905 hours they attacked they struck hard they put many of Tharsis's finest to shame I have never seen anything like it Mackenzie and I were part of a unit assigned to guard what they called the critical convoy we weren't told exactly what we were guarding only that it was biological in nature our unit commander seemed on edge he couldn't stop talking about how failure is not an option <clears throat> it was about 30 Minute. <clears throat> it was about thirty minute into the mission they attacked, and we. Uh, oh, okay. So that's a misspelling, misspelled thing. It was about thirty minutes into the mission they attacked. Okay. I said why. Oh, okay. And more gas cylinders. And what's this? Stroll, more strolls, stroll nests. What the shit? Shit what? Tiny blooper. Oh man, you're a dumbass. Why'd you not, why'd you just stand there? Stupid AI. Yeah, this. I wonder if whoever made this was one of the um, developers for. Or designed it was one of the people that designed or helped design StarCraft because there are so many similarities. I mean, for starters, it's top top down. Um, yeah, the first couple of missions in StarCraft are like this, where you control only a couple of characters, and that dude, that uh, that alien that just attacked us, rolled rolled and exploded just like a what do you call it, a baneling. Yeah, so it's very similar to StarCraft at the moment. 
anyway, it's like a, I feel like I'm playing a StarCraft mod. And it's very dark here. Let's, let's flare it up. Can I hold it and throw further? No. Oh, hello, Mr. Dead Guy number 259. That might be Erebus himself. Actually, no, it's, Erebus is an old man. So that's not, I don't think that's him. And he has, actually, my memory is really bad. All I remember is, is that he's an old man. I'm not sure if he has hair or is it long, is it short? Where am I going? I don't know. What's this? More inactive nests. Uh, okay. The arrow points south, so let's go south, boys, and turn on your auto aim and maybe kite, kite them a little bit. Or not, we don't really have to. Marine body. Okay, how come this one I can interact with? Okay. Yeah, it's our best for there it is, to contact the rest of the team. Um, Alright, so if this... Oh, okay. I was going to say, if this dude knows so much, why isn't he leading? But, yeah, that was Tyler talking. <laughs> me dumb dumb, me stupid. <clears throat> I can't upgrade anymore. Even though I've gotten a couple of those batteries. Oh, another PDA. Another Dear Diary thing. And wait for the circle to finish. 2014 hours. <clears throat> I can't get the attack. Get, I can't get the attack of my mind. Shouldn't it be off my mind? Hmm. Anyway, if any developers ever happen to watch this in the future, <laughs> you guys need to, um, what do you call it? Edit or reread what you wrote because there are several spelling mistakes. Well, well, two so far. They were planned and coordinated, advanced weaponry and good protection. Three of them for every one of us. Whoa, wow, three to one. That's a little bit unfair. They knew exactly what we were doing, what, what they were doing. Mackenzie and I were the lucky ones we managed to escape. I still don't know what we were escorting. Our CO went down before he even had the chance to blow up the cargo. So what's the CO? Commander? Commanding officer? The convoy was abandoned in the chaos, and that's the one thing that absolutely wasn't allowed to happen. We messed up. All right. Oh, okay. So that's what happened. They messed up. And this is the result. All this mess, all this chaos, and more barrels I can pick up. But should I? Do I need it? Probably these barrels are, pro are probably useful. Um, had I chosen a more difficult difficulty. A more a harder difficulty. You can toggle the tactical mode by pressing space. And, uh, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can control characters. Give you enough time. Okay. So, so we're in tactical mode now, where we can. This is the only time we can control the other guys. It's just so that it slows down the whole game, just so that we can uh, position the AI wherever we want to in specific uh, strategic spots. All right, let's do this. Make sure all your auto aim is set to auto. Maybe throw some flares. Did I just fire this? Oh, okay, so they're coming from here as as well. Smith, Brian Colby. <clears throat> all right, looks like looks like we're all at full health. Uh, F two to make your team follow you. Okay. Weren't they following me following me the whole time anyway? Hmm. Alright, so mission the next mission is in about twenty meters or or twenty meters away. Or not, okay? <laughs> Shouldn't it be just <clears throat> waypoint not mission? Fuel barrel, okay, oh, right. Sure, just scroll away for me. Oh, another one of those worm guys. Or not. There's probably a boss battle at the end of this. And it's a, probably a much larger worm than the ones that we've encountered. 
Oh, no. What am I doing? Oh, no. Come on. I'm trying to get this turret. No! You bailing wannabe. <laughs> oh, man. Well, at least I protected my turret. <laughs> That takes forever to get that turret up. Oh no! Oh, you destroyed that turret, you asshole. No wonder my health wasn't affected. And we have two turrets left and one more. One. There we go. Alright. Bit of a lag, it's laggy, why are, you, why are you lagging? It's not even that new, this game, came, it came out in 2015. Why am I lagging? I've turned off all my, all the graphic stuff that could um, cause it to lag, like V-Sync and <clears throat> all these particles and stuff. Mm. I think it's time for a new computer, but I have no money. Energy battery. Alright, can I upgrade stuff now? Yeah, no? Okay, sure. It is lagging hard. My recorder is saying it's running at 10 FPS. Now, 9 FPS. Wow, that sucks hard. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. This is really horrible. For another PDA. Oh my god, what's going on? Why is it lagging hard? Subject, rumbling in the dark, there was another explosion last week not too far from Elysium Headquarters, Colony Sec. Believes it might have been a misfire, they think the bomb went off before reaching its target. The site didn't store anything of any, any particular importance and was largely a civilian dwelling. Of course, that, did, that didn't bode well for the families of the loved ones who died in the attack. It does, however, allow Tharsis admin to paint this, this would-be insurgency as a menace rather than a group of freedom fighters. We're not entirely sure what this, the insurgents want. They've yet to place any demands in their few months in operation, but we can only assume, assume is it a gym or a shoe? Anyway, they only know, they know about us working on the virus. This raises two immediate issues. How do they know about the virus and its presence on Mars? And if they do know, why would they risk contaminating the colony by attacking the facility? What good would an outbreak do for Tharsis? Hmm. What good would it do for the insurgency? A lot of politics happening in the background. What are these? Hazard barrel, let's shoot him. Okay, hopefully the lag goes away sometime soon. Why is it suddenly lagging hard? So Sarah is an AI, I, I think. Sarah activation facility information required. Oh, there you go. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for watching. That's it. That's mission one.